Dr. Dry here from CDI. We are going to continue our conversation today on the science of moisture in air. But let's start out by discussing the temperature of air. How do you relate to temperature? You look generally at a thermometer, do you not? The first thing you see in the morning might be on your electronic iPhone, but you look at temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. That comes from a dry bulb thermometer. Well, what does dry bulb mean? Dry bulb comes from the device that we use to measure that temperature. So I have in my hand here a dry bulb thermometer. At the bottom of it is a bulb. That bulb is filled with mercury. As the air that surrounds that bulb would go up, it would expand that mercury inside that bulb and the mercury slides up this graduated scale. So dry bulb temperature is the temperature of air without any radiated heat. In other words, uh, no direct sunlight, it needs to be in the shade, so on and so forth, all right? So dry bulb temperature is the temperature of air as measured by a dry bulb thermometer. Dry bulb, it's what you see on your thermometer, it's what you see on your cell phone when you decide, am I gonna wear a coat today? Or is it so nice in sunny southern Minnesota that we'll go out in our short sleeve shirt? Dry bulb temperature. Now, let's talk about moisture in the air. The most used term for moisture in the air in our industry is wet bulb temperature. What is wet bulb? It is a term that comes from the device that's used to measure it. In this case, now a wet bulb. So we have that same dry bulb thermometer, but we put a sleeve around it that can hold moisture. And we dip that into the water and we wet that sleeve. Once the sleeve is wet, we can take this device, which is called a sling psychrometer, sling, watch that sling, and we move it around, we turn it, we sling it around at a very rapid speed. The air moving across that sleeve, that wetted sleeve, which then cools the wetted sleeve, it cools the bulb, it cools the mercury, and as it does, the temperature comes down until we get to that point of saturated air, depending on how much moisture is in the air. Back to that relative humidity question. So we can now read the wet bulb temperature. Dry bulb from the dry bulb, wet bulb, wet bulb. The wet bulb gives us a temperature dependent condition of moisture. It helps us understand how much moisture is present in the air. Wet bulb. 